Okay, so I was looking at the depiction of <coughs> corporate corruption in the two Louisa Ray mysteries. Um, so, like, common theme throughout the both of them is um, corruption and deception, but, like, more specific is corporate corruption. So we see that when Six Smith is assassinated due to him holding information that the Seaboard organisation doesn't want to be released. And, like, I was kind of looking at how like one's life is like obviously in this part of the book more important than <coughs> human's life like like a human's life is less important than the money making of a business so yeah um so while i'm going to write something up on the board do you guys want to think about how corporate corruption is kind of linked between the texts yeah so discuss So, yeah. Is it linking to the other chapter? Yeah, like all the other chapters, like <coughs> corruption. So, like, do you understand that? Like, what that is? So, yeah, so just like how it links, like, how maybe things are there are in different texts. And, like, the question is going to relate to. the next chapter of the book specifically. So do you guys want to discuss this and then feedback in 30 seconds? So discuss in your wee groups. Oh, sorry. <coughs> which is like um, in the Louisa Ray Mysteries and also in Somni. And it, it was only in the Urban Dictionary, so what it said, it's kind of like, it was like a wee quote, but it was like, a man's invention is now not going to, like he's not going to make his own money out of that, it's going to be the business who kind of has, is going to like employ that idea. So yeah, it was just like linking between the two books. But yeah, okay, I'm done. Okay, cool. 